Hello, this is Zuda Sumsfet, uh, talking again to you whether you want me to or not. Um, really, it's your own fault for clicking on the link and then deciding to listen to my voice, whether it's good or not. Uh, today, I'm just going to be looking at, um, I'm kind of recording the audio and then looking at the uh, video while I make it. I'll just fast forward a little bit so I can edit a little better and just start to the actual sketching. Uh, there were some parts where I was just playing with the paintbrushes, just learning a little bit uh, better how to do this, but I'm um, pretty happy with, uh, like, I'm watching myself right now, I uh, try my first attempt at animating, a uh, running. It ends poorly. So I give up and just go back to my sketching book, um, let's see here, I'm just gonna fast forward it, there we go, okay, there, that's what I wanna look at. <clears throat> Alright, so... At this point, I'm going to be starting uh, sketching uh, my Zuda, which I am very, very, very proud of uh, in GBO2 to the point um, it's uh, hands down my favorite suit. I was uh, watching with um, the, my teammates, the Fighting Mongooses, at our uh, scores, and I noticed that I played it over uh, 600 times individually, just uh, the Zuda series alone. Um, what this means is I'm just very addicted to this suit, really. I've been meaning to make a video about this and uh, the pros and cons of the suit and the way I see people fly and, well, people aren't the best at flying this thing. I'm, I'm very judgmental of other people who fly this thing uh, to the point where if I see you flying a Zuda suit and I'm flying a Zuda suit, I'm not going to show you any mercy and I don't expect you to show me any mercy and if you just keep running away, well you're flying the same suit I am, you know how fast they can go. You're not going to run away very far, and I happen to be very proud of how fast I can make my suit go. So what does this mean for the other people I play? If, I, if you see me in a Zuda suit and I see you in a Zuda suit, that means just fight like hell. I'm looking for other Zuda pilots, specifically, because I'm a firm believer that the only other pilot that can counter a Zuda pilot perfectly is another Zuda pilot. Zuda Fs, you guys get a, you guys get a pass sometimes because if you got the type advantage. But usually, I, I don't think too much, too highly of the Zuda Fs. Their uh, Zaka machine gun just does not do enough damage for me to be happy with it. Really, like I, I hate the damage output. It does 70 damage per bullet. The Zaku machine gun on the Zuda F. Go look at it. It's Freaking ridiculous. I'm so glad that they gave us a level 3 at 550, 500 cost, I think it is now. Yeah, because there's a 4, yeah, 500 cost now. Uh, I'm really happy that they gave us one. It's just still, it's. There are Vulcans that deal 140 damage. There are Zaku machine guns for level 1 Zaku 2s. Or, yeah, I think that's it. Level Zaku 2s that does 130 damage or something like that. And. I think the lowest I've been able to find in any other suit was something like 80 damage for some Vulcans, but they were like faster firing rate, much closer range, and you know, they dealt a ton more real damage, as I like to call it. You know, fire rate, hit rate, accuracy, actual usefulness, things like that, and it's like, fuck is that, what the hell? What the, what is that Zaka machine gun even for on the Zuda F? Please. I love that they've got four rounds for their anti-ship rifle, or sniper rifle, or whatever they call it, but that machine gun, dear god, that machine gun is pitiful. And this is coming from the guy who's got type disadvantage against Zuda Fs, like, you know. Um, which kind of brings me to the other thing I really wanted to talk about was interceptors, GM interceptors. If you fly one, well... If you fly an interceptor, well, that's on you. It's they've got three moves. They can do the sword fast thingy. They can shoot rockets or they can shoot bazookas. And if you've flown a Zuda and you've flown it long enough and you've flown them pretty fast, you can know, you know you can dodge pretty much fucking anything. And by pretty much fucking anything, I mean they can go toe to toe with a Zeong. They can go toe to toe with a Saikamu. A Zuda can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with most other suits 
no problem because it can dodge most shots. It's got the speed, the turn ability, the agility for it. Hell, I've even um, swam through artillery fire in space. Was hard. I lost a lot of health, but I've done it. <sighs> oh. And that's why I like a fly in the Zuda, is because I can get moments like that where I can just fly. And by fly, I mean, like, it actually feels like you're you're playing Gundam. That's what Gundam is all about. That moment where you're actually having fun. You're fighting against an opponent who makes you actually try every single trick in the book you know. And I only really get that feeling from other Zuda pilots. They're the only ones that are able to maneuver around with me. Um, I had a very particularly interesting experience. I'm pretty sure, I, I hope he was new at using Azudas. If he's been using one for a while, then I hope that I taught him a couple tricks. But if he's new at it, then it, ma it makes a lot more sense. Mostly because he kept trying to treat it, the fight against me, as if it was a blue Zuka, I think. He was, kept trying to use the anti-rifle. He wasn't aware of the gun barrel length, but to be fair, I didn't realize about the gun barrel length until a couple months ago myself. It might have been a new update at some point, but one of the new do downsides to the Zuda or the Zuda F is their gun barrel length. And if the gun barrel is outside of the hitbox of the enemy unit, it's going to be a guaranteed miss. And if that's an Azuda to Zuda fight, your hitbox is actually small enough that you you can just dip under the barrel of the enemy Zuda at the last second. Pro tip there. Literally. Like I, I I am at the point where I will consider myself a pro Zuda player, like I mean I'm I know I'm only at A minus rank right now, but I or B minus space, but still like with the amount of time and effort I put into the Zuda and just the amount of expertise and literal hours, I like to think that I'm actually a certifiable expert in the Zuda. I mean, there, there's, there's always going to be someone who can teach me something new about the Zuda. I will never deny that. But they're very few and far in between. And when I do fight them, it is some of the most fun I've ever had in the game. There was one Zuda F pilot who taught me how f the vast difference between the Zuda F and the Zuda, but I was able to overcome that difference after a point, after I figured out how to move faster than the Zuda F and what its weaknesses were. Um, I didn't have to fear the machine gun, I just had to dodge the four shots, and they got the new two melee on the Zuda F, which I really love. But the problem comes down to, uh, I was looking at this with um, Satsuke, Satsuke, he's uh, one of the fighting mongooses. Um, I was using the Easy 8 I don't use it often. He was using a Pale Rider, and it was showing me the difference in how I use my weapons. The Easy Way 8 has technically one more weapon than the Zuda. It is technically better than the Zuda. It has technically better stats than the Zuda. But I was not able to do as much with it as I could with the Zuda. I had the timing of the three rounds and the Sturm Foss and the one melee ability and the emergency use tackle to what I like to consider a science. I knew exactly when and how I could use them in most situations. That being said, I still put up a good fight with the um, Easy 8 against the Pale Rider Cavalry that Satsuki was using, but um, as we looked at the score, I did slightly more damage in the amount of deaths and the amount of kills were the exact same, meaning he won because of point difference in Brawl. The other thing being, he was a more experienced general pilot, and um, he had a way better experience in, honestly, a lot of the suits that I don't have. When we were on his territory with the Fetty suits, so it was 
to me it was a tough battle because I was completely out of my element and using a suit that I should have been able to completely it was a cheese suit I've seen it used meta but that's that's not how meta works if you don't care about meta meta suit is just a shitty suit right the interceptor and that's what I don't like about the interceptor it's a meta suit it's good you can use it and you know, I only recently got it compared to the Zuda and I've ha I've been seeing people all constantly use the GM interceptor to try and counter Zudas and I recently came across three different examples of intercept pilots someone who was completely new to it someone who's experienced to it but could not keep up with the Zuda and someone who relied on it too much and died completely the person who knew how to use it and, but could not keep up with the Zuda he was the more experienced when he stayed with his other pilots and he capitalized on when the melee strikes could hit me the most um, I had to be really careful with him because he would wait very specifically for when I would stop to try to take a shot at somebody else and then he would do a uh, boost forward and then try to hit me in my back with his downswing it was like this uh, the spearing the spearing downswing um, keeping an eye on the time this time as well as 12 minutes um, yeah so I should start about wrapping up this talk about because at this point I can just fast forward a little bit on my own screen I spent an hour on a lot of this stuff just drawing it and um, I think I should just keep it to a 15 minute one I've been rambling just talking about um, the intercept uh, so I'll wrap it up real quick um the easiest way to counter the intercepts is their ammo supply is slow incredibly slow everything about it is slow if you see an intercept and they try to shoot at you you are probably gonna be able to dodge anything they shoot at you especially if you're in a Zuda most likely if you're in a Psycom probably if you're in a GM if you're in a Zaku maybe try it out probably it's not that hard to dodge them they're pretty slow projectiles but it's only fast attack is its downswing melee which I can respect to a point as a Zuda player you have to learn that how to specifically use only a, your one melee look at those muscles you only get one melee with the Zuda and so you got to learn when to savor and when to make sure it's worth it and so seeing someone spam a melee downswing made it pretty easy to take them out seeing someone rely on a melee downswing like that made it pretty easy to predict where they're going to stop when their swing is done and that's a pretty embarrassing moment for the GN intercept when it's just sitting there looking at the barrel of my gun or I've got the barrel of the gun at the back of its head or I'm down below it and the barrel of my gun is just sitting there resting between the blades of their back I, I don't know I, I could go on and it gets a little bit condescending at their point and I, I don't want to be that insulting GM intercept players because they're doing the best they can they need to come up with different ways to use the tools they have and the Zuda exemplifies that because it only has three tools and a tackle shield and it has to make out of everything. Resource priorities. Making its thrusters its most important asset. Alright, that's all I got for today. I'm glad I was finally able to find my digital pen and get this out today. Uh, well, not today. I got the audio for this. Uh, Alright. You guys have a great day. Uh, if you were listening to this or if you're paying attention to this, uh, have a good one.